19-12 is the team score in favor of Oklahoma State. Barring anything wild and unexpected, having locked up the dual victory, Oklahoma State trying to improve to 5-0. Oh, NC State would drop to 9-2. Looked throughout the course of the night rock. First two matches went Oklahoma State's way, and the closest that it got for NC State was after 149. The sophomore Jackson Arrington got the win, and the match was tied, and after that, it's been five straight victories for the Cowboys. They've wrestled very well, very well. No rust, and after last year's NCAA championship, uh, Coach, Coach Smith was very honest that some things needed to change. And what they've done on national TV against a very game NC State at Reynolds Coliseum. Pat yourselves on the back. Oh, excuse me. Cowboys? Yes. <laughs> I said poke. We were just talking about Virginia Tech and the Hokies. And the pokes for Oklahoma State. That was interesting having that conversation with John Smith as well. Year 33 as a head coach. What you've done has been successful, but it's a changing environment when it comes to transfers. And they've done well in that department, getting Isaac Olenek in, an All-American from Northern Illinois, but also NIL. And finding people who are going to be benefactors of your program, because like it or not, that's the reality in every sport. You have to recruit twice. Recruit to get high schoolers to come to your school, and recruit to keep people on your team. And it's recruiting every year at the end of the season. It's not, all right, here's what we've got coming back because these guys still have eligibility. Once the season is over, it's a flurry of players going into the transfer portal and trying to find their next opportunity. Which, hard to blame guys for trying to take advantage when for a long time the head coaches have exercised that opportunity freely and willingly. One minute. We've seen a change in heavyweights over the years that uh, they've become more lean. There's still some big heavyweights, but they all move well, meaning that they have offense. They can take shots as opposed to just going over and under and just pushing and prodding. These, these heavyweights are athletes. Treffin for NC State had a really nice season last year. Reached the round of 16, only had two regular season losses. Mason Paris of Michigan and Yaroslav Slavikowski of Harvard. Good snap down. We're working center, action both men, work center. Short. For Doucette in the orange. Last year his first as a starter and Three, into the NCAA two, tournament for the first one. time as well. So Oklahoma State, the historically dominant program, on track to improve to 8-1 and one all time against NC State for the first time that these two teams met since 2018 man, keep working here. in a slightly different working, location everybody. last time they squared off. Because <laughs> they wrestled in Italy. And the hope was to do that again this year. But for a variety of Bridge logistical run, concerns, that trip did not come to fruition. It's been a great atmosphere here inside Reynolds Coliseum. Right. And you look at the schedules, too. And you have this conversation about if there were going to be a national duels competition, which a lot of people do right clamor for, line. but to try and go overseas, coming off of your break, coming off of big tournaments, and then going right into ACC or Big 12 competition, that would be a lot to make that move over to Italy for this duel. And most people enjoy trying to make weight in an environment that they're comfortable with. You think about food as well, what certain foods you can eat and may not be as available when you're international. No, it should be easier overseas. Everybody says you go to Italy, no matter how much pasta you eat, you just walk it all off. <laughs> Get out of that grip! Get out of that grip! Probably the easiest for these guys, though, who may weigh in anywhere from 230, 240, all the way up to the cap of 285. But it's not the case for everybody. You, two guys come to mind in particular. Sammy Alvarez on Oklahoma State, who did not wrestle today, but transferred from Rutgers because the cut was really hard for him, down to 133. And Kyle Rini, the 33-pounder for NC State, told us the same, is that, yeah, I've done it now for three years, coming down from 141. It's not easy, but it takes discipline, and I know that's what my team needs me to do because they've got Ryan Jack, who's ranked number four at 141. 
Even Dayton Fix said that, that, that making weight, he's got to keep his weight a little low because he has international aspirations. So he can't get to a full size 33 pounder time, because he has to get down to 57 kilos as he looks to make an Olympic team. Olympics coming up 2024. I was saying that like it was the future, but it's 2024. <laughs> and that'll be in Paris, where just a handful of Americans have qualified thus far. End of the third, Three, second period, two, moving to the third one. period. Stop. is going to take bottom. Get set. All right, boys, keep working here. Get set. In the middle. Oftentimes when it's, the match is out and, and you say, you know, what is there really to wrestle for? There's a lot of pride. I, I want to win regardless. Still green. Good ride over here by Oklahoma State. Still green. Pushing forward with a tripod to stand up. Mike, I've seen that a lot. Before, people were just trying to stand up, but now they, they take their time, try to seal out the elbows, and do kind of like a tripod, and then work their way up, and then stand up from there. It's good when you have lots of time, but if it's in the ride outs and overtime, you may not have enough time to do a tripod. Looking for Ad Nelson. Good pressure here. Who set in control, 90 seconds, third period. And they're out by the scorer's team. Well, Oklahoma State with a win will get to 5-0 and oh with dual victories handily over Bucknell and Lehigh. And their bedlam well, matchup against Oklahoma here. and then Wyoming next weekend. They're going on the backyard Rearm. brawl tour. And they're going to take on Pitt on Friday night and then West Virginia Sunday at noon. NC State's getting on a plane tomorrow. They're right. going up to Long Island. They're going to take on Hofstra, 11.30 Sunday morning. We're working here. Break them down and prove both men. Doucette is going to try and roll through again. He's trying to get that ride at times. He's got 20 more seconds. Doucette has now laced the ankle. Doing his best to get there. He's going to keep them. 13 seconds. Doucette's trying to get this. This riding time point. Come on, man. Come on, man. You're on. Stay in bounds. Let's go. Get in bounds. And Treffy knows he's got 13 seconds to really get out. Let's go. He goes right to a stand up. Looking for. Good job, Abu Seth. He's just keeping the weight forward. Almost there at the riding time. He secured the one minute. Why is that important? Because that's an extra point that you may get at the end of the match Same if you have more than one minute of riding time. Damn it, no action center. And you can, you can look at like that. the Oklahoma State fan, fan base and, and look at look at the team. They, they have a lot of pride. And this was a good win for them. Bring your on. The enthusiasm, despite the contest no longer being in question, has not waned from that side. Pretty much everybody on the Oklahoma bench is standing up. They, they want to win this. And when I say we're not talking about winning the duel meet, they want this heavily match. And Treffer's got to go hard. Right in time, the advantage right now for Doucette. Short time, third period. Doucette is doing a good job. Just getting good defense. Circling. Stall warning on Doucette. Tell you what, Oklahoma State came into Reynolds, came into Raleigh, and made a powerful statement. Last year was last year. This year, Oklahoma State is showing the nation that they are forced and they'll be reckoned with. So back in 2019, they knocked off the Hawkeyes when they were ranked third, and now 